Hi everyone, I'm popping on here to do a quick video for you. I will do it as quickly as possible, but the reason for this video today is because it is that time of year again where we are going to be starting our new catalog, which means some of our products that people have been loving and some of the patterns people have been loving will be leaving at the end of August. So. Um, I have some of the items in my own um, collection at home here that I'm going to show you. Um, some of them I do not have, so there is a big, big list of products or prints that are leaving. Um, but I'm going to show you the ones I have at home here. Now, please, when you're looking at them, just look at the actual item I'm showing you. Um, the print doesn't mean anything for what I'm showing at home, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So um, maybe you have a certain pattern you've been loving and you've been collecting items in that pattern. Um, definitely make sure to check, ask if your pattern is retiring because you will wanna get whatever last items you want then before it leaves, right? Um, and again, some of the actual products are leaving, not just the prints. Um, okay, so in no particular order, I'm going to start showing you the items, but I wanna mention that um, if you're watching this video um, in one of my Facebook groups, um, if you're not part of my text message list already, definitely in the comments below, I am going to put um, my number in there. You will want to text my number because it lets you be the first to always be in the know of things going on, whether it's sales I'm holding myself, sales 31 is holding, uh, whether there's brand new items to show you, more info to give, whatever the case may be. If you like to stay in the know, definitely, definitely text my number. Um, it is important to know that you are not part of a spammy group texting thing. It is never group text. It is just one-on-one -on -one texting between um, you and me. Um, and if you join my texting group, sorry, I don't wanna say group, text message list um, right away, then I am going to be entering you for, um, as someone will win a product from me, a 31 product. So. Um, definitely do that. If you're already part of my texting list, then you will be automatically entered into it, okay? Um, now, no particular order, go to snack box. Um, I'm actually loving this. It is thermal lined. There's a pouch right here on the top from behind the zipper here. Um, the clip here, you can clip onto things. But what I'm loving this for is I literally am using this as a snack pouch right now. Um, for my little ones, I throw it in the diaper bag all the time. So we always have snacks with us on the go. So, um, again, this has been a great product for me. I'm loving it. And, uh, yeah, so this is the go-to snack box. Um, hanging car organizer. Uh, this has been not one of the newer products. So, of course, you can carry it like this, put things in it at home. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and then you can hang it over the headrest in your vehicle just like this by clipping it. And you can put snacks in here. You can put um, just any little things you have floating around in your vehicle. If you have kids, you can put their toys in here. Maybe some like uh, arts and crafts stuff, whatever you want to do on the go. Um, and then there's also a zippered pouch. I'm going to show you inside here as best I can. And it's mesh. So it's see-through, but it zips, it zips up. And then you've got mesh pockets on both sides that you can even hang drinks in there, okay? So this is the hanging car organizer. Next one is the small essential storage tote. I use this one every day because I do um, take things upstairs with me at night and um, usually I also have the girls to take up and everything else, so this is just a handy little bag. Um, of course, it's great for kids too. This has also been great. People have been buying this as a gift bag and just throwing something else in it. So the person has whatever inside, plus they get to have this bag after. Um, some people even use this and hang it in their vehicle um, with a bag in it as a little garbage um, can or, or again, just collecting things in their vehicle. They don't want all over the place. So it's a super cute one, small essential storage tote. This of course is our regular essential storage tote. This one is wonderful for grocery shopping. Um, I try to keep this one especially in my vehicle at all times. Um, we even went out one weekend and had stuff with us 
and uh, to go visit people. And then we were going down to the beach section and I didn't, I wasn't prepared for that. So I only had a big bag for the girls. So luckily I had this in the vehicle, threw whatever we needed in just to go down to the beach and uh, it worked perfectly. It is very well stitched, so it's very sturdy. This is not, this can't even, store-bought bags can't even compare, compare to this if you're buying those in the store to take your groceries home. So again, this is the larger essential storage tote. Here we have our mini duffel bag, okay? So it's just a cute little size. Um, perfect if you're just going somewhere quickly, you don't really need many things with you. These are the handles, but it is there is also a longer strap with this one as well. Um, my little girl just has stuff in here right now, dolls and stuff. When we went out, she just wanted a bag to take some stuff out in, so I grabbed this for her. Um, and then there's also two mesh pouches inside here, two pockets, okay? So this is the mini. And here, here's the big one. So here is the, the full size, the all packed duffel bag. So pretty much, yes, this is just like any other duffel bag um, in most senses, okay? Um, you've got a pocket here that's mesh. You've got a zippered pouch here. Um, you also have a longer strap that comes with this as well. Plus these are quite long shoulder straps too. Um, and on the inside, again, there's two mesh pockets. But what I love about this one is that this, this pocket here that you see with the mesh actually goes quite far in under the bag. So if you have like dirty clothes or maybe you have like runners or gym clothes or something you wanna shove in there to keep them away from everything else, you just use this underneath. So again, this is our all pack duffel. This is our extra large storage tote. You will see it is huge. Um, some people have even used it, have been using it for their kids' um, hockey equipment. You've got carry handles here on both sides, okay? And then you've also got a pouch in the front here. And then, of course, the hole inside as well. I have boxes in here right now because I wanted to show you um, it as stable as I could for just how big it is. So check that out, the extra large storage tote. It's also great if you have like a smaller Christmas tree at home or you just have other things that you want to store at home and you don't want just sitting out collecting dust, you can also put it in here as well. Um, next, of course, I know most of you are familiar with our um, utility totes. The deluxe utility tote can actually hold the large utility tote in here, which I have in here right now the medium utility tote I have in here, and Fresh Market Thermal. These are hands down my go-tos all the time for grocery shopping. I always take them with me. So the deluxe utility tote is of course bigger than the large. Um, the deluxe also has carry handles on both sides, and the deluxe has three pockets in the back, okay? Whereas the large does not. Um, so again, you'll see it's a really nice size whether for groceries, whether for taking to the beach to carry things in, traveling, you name it, it's great just to throw things in because it can hold so much and just go over your shoulder. Or if it starts to get heavy for me uh, with the amount of groceries, I like to use the carry handles on the side. So then inside here, we have the Fresh Market Thermal. This is still my favorite thermal. This thermal has leak lock lining, meaning you can just throw ice in here and away you go. Um, it can also hold three four liter jugs of milk. Um, it has carried Dairy Queen ice cream cakes. It has carried um, uh, Boston pizza meals, people have said, for hours with them. So hot or cold, most slow cookers can fit in here, but of course you wanna put something around it so that it's not melting the inside. But um, they are very useful and they definitely can hold a lot. Next, we have the medium utility tote. This one I always say is really nice if you want to give a gift to um, maybe like a senior in your life um, so that they can still have the benefits of carrying things, but you know, it's definitely would not be weighed down as much as the bigger ones. Um, and if you do have multiple totes, you definitely want to divide the weight between all of your totes. But this is the medium one, okay. And here is the large in here. Okay, so there's the large, fits inside the deluxe. 
Okay, so as you can see, no carry handles and no pockets. And it's just a bit smaller than the deluxe one. So they all fit in nicely. You can keep them in your vehicle flat um, or just grab them every time you're going out. Uh, next one, hanging travel organizer. Okay, so this one, of course, is great if you are traveling. Uh, if you want to put your toiletries in here, um, you've got a see-through zippered pouch here. You've got mesh pockets inside here. Um, another zippered pouch up here. And then of course this can just hook easily around a towel rod when you're staying somewhere. Okay, people also use this as a first aid kit. Um, you name it, you can think of so many different ways. Put oils in here, all that kind of stuff. Here we have our double duty caddy. Um, this at one point I was using as a diaper caddy around the house to put diapers and wipes and stuff so you can walk wherever you want. Um, you've got mesh pockets in the side here. Some people like to just have these sitting at home to just throw things in, sunscreen, stuff like that, bug spray. Um, some people even get creative and will get like a tray from a restaurant, drink tray, cut it in half, have one half here, one half here, and they can put the drinks in here and hold their hold the handle while they go wherever they're going. Um, but it's really nice size, hold electronics in here, uh, remotes, all that kind of stuff. So this is a double duty caddy. Now this is the deluxe double duty caddy. So don't mind, it is definitely full here right now. So I have some socks for the girls here on our main level. Um, we're not dealing with diapers anymore. So I, I don't have diapers in here now, but I always had diapers and wipes in here. Um, but again, like we have one of these in the basement for electronics to go in. There's mesh pockets on both sides. Um, there's even another flap here, which I haven't even used, is another pocket in here. So this is the deluxe double duty caddy. This one right here, um, I want to say it's the pack and go. I always forget the name of this one. This is one of our newer items. Um, but anyway, I really like the size of it. It's a really great size in here. Look how big that is. And um, you've got, on the inside, you've got two pockets in here, okay? And then you've also got two big pockets on the outside as well. So it's really nice size. And again, I wanna say it's like the pack and go tote or something like that. Um, but again, yes, it's definitely a nice tote folds so flat down so you can just take it anywhere with you and have it just in case. Um, this one I want to say is the everyday storage tote. Um, again, I can't, I can't remember for sure if I'm right on that one. Uh, everyday essentials tote. There we go. So this one I love because it has eight pockets inside. So definitely when you're putting a lot of things in here and you've got the pockets, you can find them so easily. Um, and then you've also got um, a Velcro pouch on the, in, on the outside of it as well. Oh, Nathan, you can't take that right now. Hold on. <laughs> I have my camera propped against his, uh, his water bottle. Okay, hurry, quick. Okay. Um, next one, dialed, dialed in um, phone purse. This is a really good one if you're just um, very like minimalist on what you take out with you or maybe you're just running some quick errands. Um, it's like that pinch top um, eyeglass case we've had. So you just squeeze it to open it. And then you've got two card holders on the back, nice and lightweight. I also like to put the wear to wallet in this um, right here, this one. Um, so I've, I've put my phone inside here and then I just carried this wallet with me and um, it just makes it very easy just to take very minimal stuff with you. So the where to wallet is another one I'm going to show you anyway. So you've got card holders here and here. You've got card holders on the back. You got a spot for your ID. And then you've also got a zippered section in here and you've got a little claw hook as well on here. So um, this is a great little wallet. So both of those make a great combo. Put your phone in here. Um, away for the weekender um, bag here. This, a lot of people have used as their carry-on when traveling. You've got, hold on, let me show you here. See if you can see here. You got a pouch, a zippered pouch on the inside. You've also got um, a pouch on the outside as well. 
Uh, really nice size bag and also comes with an extra carry hand up longer strap as well. So way for the weekender. Um, this one's been around a long time. The uh, zip top organizing tote or some will refer to it as the Zout. Um, you've got zippered top on it. So right there, it zips up. You've got three pockets on the front mesh pocket on each side and then you've got two pockets on the back here um this is a great office on the go bag if you want to put like a fold and file inside here or um use it as a diaper bag gym bag whatever um some people just like it as a daily work bag to take out with them so that's zip top organizing um utility tote these were newer items as well this is the travel pouches um, I believe this actual print is um, retiring. Um, I'm not sure about the actual pouches themselves. So you get one clear one, which is quite big to put your toiletries or whatever you want in there. And then you get this smaller one to, um, to, to put things inside as well, which is also a nice size. So those are the travel pouches. Oops. This is a Ruby Mini, okay? So some people like to throw these in their um, bag or purse with just like maybe like feminine products, um, anything smallish that they don't want just floating around anywhere in their bag, right? Um, or even, um, I was always using one as well for, um, cause I have to keep my receipts. I was always throwing receipts in one as well when I was carrying my bigger purse around. This is the tiny utility tote. Um, we have quite a few of these floating around the house, the majority of them with toys in them. Um, so they're really nice size for kids, but they're also a great size to put in your vehicle with just some stuff in there that you want to keep in one spot. They're great as well to give as a gift so people can use the little tote after and maybe you want to throw a bottle of wine or some chocolates and stuff in here. Um, so again, this is the tiny utility tote. Some people also like to use these to hold um, like video games and stuff in there as well. This is the um, fold and hang travel organizer. So you can also personalize them. Um, so this one again, hangs on the back of your headrest in the vehicle, zippered see-through section here. You got lots of zippered pockets here. So this is definitely popular for putting like kids' toys, um, craft items in there, um, even a tablet in there and hanging on the back of the chair for them. Some people like it as first aid kits, um, having essential oils, just whatever you like, storing like hair accessories and all that kind of stuff in there. Um, the picnic thermal tote here. Um, this one's been around a long time. This is the one that can hold six bottles of wine in it. So a lot of ladies love this one pouch in the front um, and then you've got of course your lining on the inside here okay then we've got um, this is one of the newer ones fold over lunch bag so the fold over lunch bag you can see you've got a carry handle okay it clips and then on the inside it's all thermal lined in there so great kids lunch bag or if you only take you know not too many things for lunch yourself um, it's a great little lunch bag. This is the around the clock thermal. This has been a very popular one. This can hold quite a bit. Um, this one my son used to take to school, so we personalized it for him. A zippered pouch on the front. In here, usually we would put cutlery and stuff up in here. And then you've got quite a bit inside in here for stuff, for containers and all of that. Um, he would always just use it with the carry handles in his bag, but there is a longer strap to be able to throw it over you as well. So that's the around the clock thermal. Um, we're almost at the end here, I promise. This is the journey backpack. Okay, this has been very popular. So you've got the pockets on the side, throw your drinks or whatever in there, a zippered pouch here, carry handles, backpack straps. Um, it's quite deep. And uh, a perk that a lot of people love is the fact that the zippered part in here is thermal line. So whether you're just wanting to throw some bottles of water in here, maybe you um, are using it as a diaper bag, you want to put baby bottles in here, whatever you want, but it's thermal line. So that's the journey backpack. Okay, and... 
here we have the window shopper limited um even the window shopper itself which is a fabric one is in um the last call as well but this one i have is the limited version because it's faux leather um you got a pocket in the front carry handles an actual strap you get with it um it's it's quite a nice size bag inside then you got a cell phone pocket on the back and on the inside here you have a zippered pouch in here as well so that's the window shopper limited this is the size of it okay this i believe is the casual crossbody tote um so this one you got the carry handles as well it's fabric it's more flimsy which some people really like that style um, and then of course you have your longer strap as well that hooks onto here. Um, quite, quite a good amount of space inside here. And then you've also got um, a zippered uh, pocket and you've got two open pockets in here as well. So this is the casual one and that's how big it is. We've also got the Cindy tote. This has been around a long time. Pockets on the side, such a nice size bag. Some people just love it as a purse because they love a big bag. Others love it as a work bag. Um, definitely, it is great if you're carrying a laptop with you, um, you know, files, work papers, whatever. It's a really strong, sturdy bag for that. Um, and I'll just show you the inside here quickly. The inside, you've got three pockets that are open plus a zippered, uh, pocket in here as well so a really nice size bag again this is the cindy tote um i believe the step up tote is on the list as well so this is one that's a really nice size bag you guys cell phone pocket on the back zippered pocket on the front carry handles longer strap um and then on the inside here it is definitely a nice size i've used this one quite a bit and then you've also got a zippered pocket on the inside here okay so, um, I think that's, oh no, sorry, Little's carry out caddy. And there's, there is definitely so many more items in prints. Um, I just wanted to quickly grab some of these that I have around here to show you. Little's carry out caddy, uh, mesh pocket here. These are great. The kids have toys in these around home most of the time. Um, we have a little pumpkin one, so it's great even taking out on Halloween. Um, Keeping it home, you can put a square tissue box in here, you know, anything, little knickknacks, give it as a gift with some treats inside. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's many more items as well. I just wanted to kind of give you a rundown of the ones that I have right here at home with me right now to show you. Um, but you definitely uh, get ready because I am going to be doing um, a retirement um party to get everybody to see all the last items um so definitely watch for that coming if you're on facebook um stay tuned i'll have info about that but where i'm primarily going to be running the party is through the texting um the texting um list okay so again it's not spammy there's not a million texts and it's only between you and me not a group one you're not going to see others responses um, but anybody who shops for the retirement list, um, or buying anything else they want, doesn't have to just be retirement list. Um, you will be entered for the mystery shopper rewards. I just finished giving away, um, ones for the summer link I had open for, for mystery shopper rewards. And the lucky winner won $160 in free credits to use. And she's also able to get 50% off items and some other stuff as well. But she gets $160 in absolute free credits to use. So it definitely pays off. Um, she got that just because she was placing orders through my link. Um, so again, I'm opening up a new link now. And when you shop on that link, you will be entered as well automatically um, for your chance to win all the rewards as well, okay? So stay tuned. Um, if you're not on my texting list, I hope you get on there ASAP. And like I say, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway for being on my list, um, doing a 31 product giveaway for that as well, okay? Any questions, let me know. Talk to you all soon.